So what is a particle filter? A particle filter, similar to the Kalman filter, is a technique for estimating the state of a dynamic system. So it is a recursive based filter which takes the current belief and updates the current belief based on so-called motion information or control commands and based on observations. And it's from the idea, very similar to the Kalman filter, but it relaxes some of the assumptions that the Kalman filter does. So the key advantage of the particle filter is that it can deal with um, nonlinear functions and it relaxes the assumption that we are in a Gaussian world. It actually allows you to describe arbitrary probability distributions and it uses a non-parametric uh, form in order to do this. And so the idea is actually very easy to explain. What the particle filter does, it says, I just use a number of so-called particles or samples which are hypotheses for the system being in one single state. So if we have maintain, let's say, 10,000 particles, we have 10,000 guesses or 10,000 hypotheses in which state the system will be in. So every sample or every particle refers to one guess that the system is in that state. So if you think that your particles would represent the position of a mobile platform in the environment, for example, then 10,000 particle, particles would be 10,000 guesses or 10,000 hypotheses where that system could be in the world. So every particle would, for example, be an x, y, z location and a yaw pitch roll angle in case of a 60 localization system. And what the particle filter does, very similar to a common filter, it has a prediction step and a correction step in order to estimate what, how the states evolve. And it can be done in a very simplistic way, it can be explained in a very simplistic way. So let's take, we pick out one particle. And the particle represents one state. So I'm at a certain location looking in a certain direction. If we now want to estimate how the system evolves over time, given that we know that we drive with 10 meters per second, for example, forward, we can just take this particle and shift it 10 meters forward. And this is how the system is expected to evolve, given that we have been at the state where um, the particle was saying the platform is actually here. And we additionally add some noise to this. This is how it's called sampling from a proposal distribution taking into account that this motion is affected by noise. And then we simply repeat this for all the particles. So all the particles will be moved by that distance forward together with some noise sampled around it. The second step, the so-called correction step, um, takes the observation into account. And what it basically does, it says, given that I'm in that position, what the particle tells me, how likely is it actually to obtain the observation that the real vehicle has obtained? And based on how likely it is to obtain this observation, this particle will get a weight or an importance weight. So every particle which is at a different location will get a different important weight. And the higher the weight, the more likely it is that this particle did the right job. And then we have a large set of state hypotheses together with the weight. And the weight tells me how likely it is that the system um, could explain the measurement of being in that state. And then the particle filter basically has a search step, which is a so-called resampling step, which is especially needed if you, as we only have a limited number of particles. It performs kind of a survival of the fittest principle by saying, I tend to replicate particles which have a high importance weight and tend to forget those particles which have a low importance weight. See it as a survival of the fittest based on this important weight, importance weight. And then the process repeats. So the good particles are likely to survive, the bad particles are likely to die out. And then when the next observation comes in, we again move all particles forward, we sample the noise um, that is associated to the motion, check again with new observations how likely is every particle to explain the new observation that we get. We perform our resampling step and continue this process. So in sum, every particle filter consists of a set of weighted samples. And a weighted sample is a state hypothesis. So if it's the position, it's x, y, z, your pitch roll in 3D or x, y, z in theta in uh, 2D. And then we has a scalar weight, this importance weight. And this represents a probability distribution. It's actually a sum of Dirac distributions or Dirac pulses centered in the state of, uh, that the particle represents and multiplied with the importance weight. The particle filter is a standard technique that is used today in a mobile robot localization, especially if you don't have any external um, um, global sensor like a GPS sensor, so especially for indoor localization tasks, 
particle filter are today the method of choice and the gold standard for realizing the so-called Monte Carlo localization.